Speaking of tennis applause, yeah. one last question here, Jim. <laughs> this was sent in by W. Mullins. Do you feel that given the same opportunity? Wait a minute, is 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 this Michael Mullins uh, hiding uh, his identity, or is this uh, the the woman that used to be married to WWE and the Dixie Dance Kings? I think this is a different Mullins altogether, not Jeff Mullins either. But Jim, do you feel that given the same opportunities that Hickerson and Condry could have been as successful as Condry and Eaton? Oh God, um, yes and no. I truthfully think that they were such a great heel tag team that if they had gotten a chance to be pushed in any given territory, that they they would have gotten over as the top heel team at the time. I don't think, in hindsight, that they would have been as big nationally and internationally and worldwide as the Midnight Express, not only because Bobby was just so special to the equation, but also because they had me. And Phil Hickerson and Dennis Condry never had me, but yeah, they they were they were uh, capable of being a top heel team in any territory in the country in the seventies, in my opinion. 